Initial D. Woo! Parkour! Welcome to my first ever anime review. What's anime, you ask? Well, it's something like this. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing our first ever anime review, and when I mentioned this in the past before, because I mentioned this a long time ago, and as you know, I take forever to do things, there is one thing you guys mentioned quite a lot. You wanted to see Initial D. Well, I bring you Initial D. Alright, so let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to encounter in Initial D is just a setup. And a pretty cool setup, you know? Like, it opens off the movie on a really good note. You're driving through the mountain. It's Initial D. You expect cars, right? So you're just driving through the mountain. And then all of a sudden, boom, there goes a car. Boom, there goes another car. And they're having this crazy drift battle. And this guy gets beat so bad, he can't even believe how devastated he is. It's just like, what just happened? This builds on the plot. It is not the strongest part of this anime by far. I have seen much better plot, but I've also seen much worse. Um, so basically, the plot follows a generic timeline. This guy who was driving in the mountain who got beat, got beat by this car. No one knows who the driver is. No one really knows when the car shows up on the mountain and why. So what you have is Kesuke Takahashi, I'm sorry about the names again, um, spends the whole entire movie chasing after uh, Takumi Fujiwara, and basically, um, not necessarily knowing who he is, but chasing after that person, wanting to beat them. And then, well, I won't tell you what happens in the end. That's a secret. You can figure it out. But, you know, stuff happens. Let's get into the characters. And we'll start with our main character throughout the series, Takumi Fujiwara. Now, who is this guy? Well, he's your typical high schooler like every other anime because God knows Japan loves their high schoolers. And what does he do? Well, he works at a gas station. He doesn't do much of anything. And um, he just works at a gas station, steady job, and he also drives the tofu run at 3 a.m. for his dad, which is where he learned how to drive the car so consistently. Then you have your secondary characters, which is Bunta, which is his dad. Then you have Itsuki, which is his best friend, who is the guy who knows everything about cars, every, every everything. He knows what car he's gonna get, he knows what everything is, but... I mean, like, you don't want to get in his car. He's probably going to crash, it, let's be honest. Versus our main character, Takumi, who is really, really, really good at driving, but could not care less about cars. Then you have Keisuke, who is basically the main antagonist throughout the movie. Um, he's there, he's looking for revenge, he can't believe he got beat, he, you know, he's a bit of a sore loser, he wants to get back, and that's sort of the thing that moves the movie along. Uh, so, the... Oh, the only other character I find is really worth mentioning is Natsuki Mogi, who is the, uh, I want to call her the main female character, but she barely appears in the movie. What she really is there is as a romance tool and a plot tool, okay? Spoilers. Um, it feels very forced, the romance that sort of develops, and it doesn't really develop that much, if I'm honest. And she, she's really there because she needs to be or else the plot does not move forward. <clears throat> All right, so next, the animation. How does this anime look? You know what? The first thing I always complain about when I play Forza is there's not enough smoke. And you wanna know what with Initial D? There's no smoke and that's perfect. Why? First off, you know how difficult it is to animate smoke? Second off, it looks great. It is fine the way it is. I have no complaints. I mean like, sure the animation is not ufotable level, but for a car anime, it's really nice. The cars look how they should. When they go around corners, it's not like physics are breaking in my mind. The car should be like flipped over. No, it feels very realistic in the way they handle, the way they corner. And it has a really good feeling whenever they have that sort of zoom in cam while he's coming on the edge. It's really, really cool. I just like how they handle all the camera angles throughout the drifting scene. And I think they did a really, really good job of that. Moving on to the other important thing, the sound. What? Why would we mention the sound? Now, usually this is not something I would mention in any other anime. I just go straight to soundtrack. But the sound, this is Cars. This is a car movie. The cars have to sound good. And oh my god, do they. If you're a car enthusiast, when you hear that RX-7 rip it, it sounds exactly how it should, if not better. I just like, I heard it go by. I'm watching the movie. Just listen to this.
That is just like, wow, wow. I don't know. I, I love that. It's just too much fun. I love it. It's good times. In the end, Initial D is a little bit something that I would recommend to someone who's both a fan of cars and anime. It's not for people who only like anime, and it's not for people who like cars but don't like anime. You have to be a bit of a fan of both, because as far as anime go, it's nothing to stand out. But since you have cars in there, it's one of the few, and it's really enjoyable if you do enjoy those fire spitting horsepowers. So as usual, I want to... So as usual, guys, I want to thank you all for having watched. I hope you all enjoyed this. In the comments, please tell me what you think of this format, whether or not I like it, what anime you like me to do in the future, if I should do that at all. Then, uh, 